everybody welcome back as always my name is Oz today we are continuing chapter 4 of Azuriel Circle uh, in the first episode it was pretty much just meeting everyone that Ryan the main character uh, his neighbors that are on this street so far the first set of neighbors there was blood in their driveway leading up to the house and you know, the house had weird, creepy shit going on. And in the second house, we just read a journal. It was about Christopher and his wife, who was cheating on him and was pregnant by somebody else. She just said that her husband is dead and she went to go hide in the usual spot. So let's continue and see what that means. Nothing in the trash can. Uh, there's something down there. I don't think I'll find anything useful in this bathroom. I don't think I'll find anything useful in this bathroom. Okay. Okay. It's a bunch of old books. All right. What's this? It looks like a bottle of oil. A bottle of oil in a computer room? 23rd September, 1988. Camp and trip with the guys and I break my favorite lantern. I wonder if I can use the room remainder of this oil to grease up the clock. 17, 7th October in 1988. Work has been stressing me the hell out these days. I need to get that damn promotion over Phillips. I've got a kid on the way and my salary is good, but not good enough. 21st October 1988. Miranda's been acting especially off these days. Something isn't right and I need to work out what it is. I'll keep things smooth for now just until the new guy's party is over. He was on to her. He knew she was cheating. This window's open too. My window was open. A baby's crib. It looks like somebody has put their foot through it. Ah, uh, there's a baby crying. Looks like this teddy bear had its head ripped off. I don't like don't enjoy Robertson's attic is above me but I don't know how to reach the door without some sort of hook oh I got oil and a cog for for this the clock doesn't seem to be working maybe it's missing a part could it be this cog what should I set the time to oh uh, oh, 11, 15? Yeah. It looks like a pole hook. Oh, gonna go into the creepy attic. I don't like attics. Okay. Just for anyone watching, suicide is never the way, and I'm going to put the number for the suicide prevention line in the in the show notes down here. So uh, please, if anything's going on with you, do not hesitate to call. Someone will always be there to talk to you. Anyway, gruesome. Oh no, no, Xander. I need to cut him down and fast. Quick, quick, where did I put my knife? Come on, Xander, come on. He's so cold. This didn't just happen in the last hour or two. Where's their phone? I need to call the cops. Once clearly wasn't enough. What's this? This isn't Xander's key. McBride, this must be for Christopher's house. I hope he's okay. Miranda and Christopher have been having an affair. Fuck them. F the world and F their bastard child. Everything I've ever worked for lies in ruins and I can't go on anymore. There's bloody fingerprints on the snow and no blood on Xander. Somebody else found him before me. 
Nothing important inside these boxes. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. There's gonna be something creepy. Hello? Police, please. As soon as possible. That's as vague as possible. I'm, I'm gonna save. That made me so uncomfortable, man. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. The cursor was on the screen this whole time. Forgive me for being le stupide. Okay, I have the key to this house now. Why is this house also dark? It's Christopher's bookshelf. Yep. There are many things I could do right now, but sitting down would not be one of them. There's a thin layer of dust around everything. I don't think this television has been used in a while. Then why have a TV if you're not gonna use it? Why is the light on in the kitchen? Haven't a, I have a sinking feeling about all this and it isn't because of this sink. I'm not a great cook at the best of times, so I shouldn't probably leave Christopher's oven alone. There's milk in here, but now really isn't the time. Okay, so Christopher has milk or had milk. Lines pulled. Did Christopher leave before morning? It looks like there's an empty slot in this painting. Empty slot. Okay. I'm coming. It's a key card reader. Okay. Uh, another well-lit bathroom. No time to admire my good looks. Who can pee at a time like this? People who are scared. I can't break into someone's house and then take a... Mm. Okay. Okay. 15th September 1988. So I'm going to be a father then. Ah, that's not a good voice. So I'm going to be a father then. Shit, that's not exactly what I had in mind when me and Miranda started our little tryst. Alexander isn't a bad guy, but if I want something, then I take it. So it seems that's going to have to just deal with losing his wife eventually. 1st October 1988. I think I finally come to terms with fatherhood. What will I call my boy? I think I'll name him after my uncle Robert. Robert McBride. That's not half bad. 19th October, 1988. Somebody has been following Miranda. Is it somebody trying to get to me? He's wearing a dark cloak and a silver mask. Miranda Mallet managed to grab both of them before he ran off. I've stashed them in my spare room for now. I've got much more important things to attend to than some creep. 27th October, 1988. Safe password changed. First number is the number of houses on our side of the street. The second number is the number of letters in my lover's name. Moran it's Miranda, isn't it? The third number is the number of rooms in my house, including hallways. Okay. The fourth number is the number of children in the Howard family. The fifth and sixth numbers are the last two numbers of the current year. 21st October 1988. The mask is gone. I heard the floor creaking from downstairs. They must have heard me run upstairs because they fled from the window. Who is following me? Do they know? Is it Alistair? If it is, then he's a dead man soon. His house is right at the path into the woods, so he'll be easy enough to isolate. He'd better not be the new guy's party or I'll just lose my temper. Okay, I need to read this again. First number, the second number is the... Oh, it was in the beginning, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, okay. So, four, seven. Third number is the number of rooms in my home, including hallways. Oh, 
Howard family has three children. Unless they mean two because one is dead. Okay, so let's go count rooms. One, two, so we got attic, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I believe the safe number is four, seven, eight, three, eight, eight. Okay. Okay. I did not see a save. That was this room. Okay. I think the suit must be the only outfit that Christopher owns because that's all that's in here. Boxers and socks, such nothing much else. All right. No. These dang doors. He has a computer door too. Nothing worth reading here. It's protected by a password. I wonder if we can find out what it is. Uh huh. A few scraps of paper, but nothing. Okay. Will it be you? What is this? What's this? It looks like some sort of emblem or a medallion. The symbol is a 10 pointed star. Nothing important inside these boxes. Come from the attic. I was just in the attic. What? What? You have nothing to say about the chalk outline on the floor. That's normal. It's normal. Okay. Oh, this it looks like there's an empty slot in the painting. This emblem looks like it could fit. There's the safe. Woo! Okay, let's try. So what is it? Four. Seven. Eight. Three, eight, eight. It's the wrong combination. Maybe, they, maybe it's two because they only have two living children. There's five houses on the street. There's five houses on the street. I am big dumb. Five? Okay, so they definitely have three children. It is five. Okay, so it's Five seven eight three eight eight. It looks like a key card. I wonder if it's for upstairs. What else would it be for? Numb nuts. It's a key card reader. This doesn't seem to be working. I'll need to rewrite it with the correct credentials. Mm, correct credentials. Password. Uh, M I R A N D A. No, that's not it because it's too long. Robert. Maybe the name of his son. R O B E R. That's the one. Perfect. It's the name of his son, Robert. There's a file labeled card data here. I wonder if I can write that into a floppy and rewrite the card at my place. There doesn't seem to be anything else here of note. If Christopher is up to something, then he'll cover his tracks well. <gasps> Who are you? The cops are on their way. Hello. Are they watching me? I need to be very careful. They're watching everybody, clearly. Oh, it's Anna. 
Ryan, I've been calling my grandmother's house and I'm not getting any answers. I'm worried about her and Bethany. Anna, did you see that figure this time? They came this way. Are you feeling okay? I think you're just hallucinating in the panic. Nobody came past me. What's wrong? Anytime that figure is here, you seem to miss them. What are you saying? How do I know it isn't you? You think that all of this is some twisted joke? Is that it? Yes, that was a smooth move. I can rewrite the card if I know the data I'm meant to use. Luckily, I do. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, boop. Hopefully I can get into the door now. Now I'm gonna walk all the way back. This one. Great, the door is locked. Yeah. There we go, that did the trick. Oh, what am I finding in here? The cloak, okay. I'm here. Black robes? Shit. Does this mean Christopher is the one out there behind all this? I'll hang on to these for now. If it is Christopher, then maybe there's a mask around. Nothing in here that's of any use. A key. It looks like a key to Alistair's house. It's labeled Mordred, so it must be him. Why does this, why does Christopher have a key to Alistair's house? Ugh. What the hell is going on? Are they both involved in something? Let's read this. It's all gibberish. I don't even know what to make of this. Okay. It's back. Anna? Christopher? Alistair? Morris? Miranda? Just who the hell are you? Please tell me why you're following me. Your fate isn't set in stone. You can still leave. I can't make out your voice clearly. What do you mean my fate isn't set in stone? I was like you once, but it's too late for me. What do you mean my fate isn't set in stone? Don't go into the shed. Wait. It talks. Who is it though? Who is it? Where am I going? What the hell? Is this some sort of acid trip? No, I didn't take anything. I've only ever dabbled that once. Is this because of that masked person? How do I get out of here? It's a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. Blood is blood. Blood on the dance floor. Lots of blood. Hello, friend. Wait, I need to talk to you. I'm very confused. I don't understand. I get that that's probably some sort of puzzle. This one. seen that one before. Oh. Don't let it touch you, apparently. Okay. I'm... What's going on, man? Like, zoinks! Let this man touch you. Don't let this one touch you either. Um. Ah. 
Oh, he's doing a zoom. Don't touch you. don't understand. Okay. Maybe this way? Nope. Uh, down? I... Okay. Right. Oh, get off the screen. Down. understand what's going on. Uh, I don't... Uh, this makes no sense. I don't understand what's going on. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. What's going on? This just leads to a whole bunch of just dead ends. Dead ends and a bunch of these crazy whacked out a doodle people. Going the right way. Oh, thank God. Something different. Uh -huh. isn't that way. Miranda? There's no escape, is there? I'm alone here forever. Hello? I'll always have my baby. Can you hear me? Uh, what? I don't want to have to go through all that bull again, like, descent into madness. Azuriel? Who are you? I'm Clinton Lancaster. What the hell? Where are we? Is this some really insane shit? Please don't utter such foul language in my house. What's with the circle? Azuriel's circle is slowly becoming our fate. Who's Azuriel? He's the supreme being. Uh, welcome him. Welcome him! Welcome him! Welcome him! No. I think I'm going to be sick. That was from the first one. This is from the second one. Where am I now? Who are you? Why is this circle different? You're in Chicago. My name's Donald Edison, and this circles here is closer to being transcribed correctly. Wait a second. I've seen you in the news before. Oh? It was when some girl was committed after going feral on their family. Yeah, that's right. You were the one who found her and her friend in a drug-addled state. I remember the story. Lydia Geller. That was her name. You aren't real, are you? 
This is that apartment block you found them in, right? What are you talking about? It's all linked, isn't it? This circle? What the hell have I stumbled into? Did somebody draw the circle in Grayboro? In my own street? Is that why everybody has disappeared? Where's the circle? I'm Donald Edison. No, you aren't. What are you? I'm Donald Edison. I'm Donald Edison. I'm Donald Edison. No say the llama. Ah, more of you. This freaking circle again. I'm right. There's some freaky shit going on and this is the cause. How do I get home? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? How the hell should I know? I'm about to lose it. Where am I this time? You're almost... You're amongst the old ones from old ways. My name is Matthew Blackstock. Which one of you said that? Show your face. Please watch your tongue when speaking to my love. Natasha, it was an innocent question. This boy is scared. What are you talking about, Maria? Listen, kid, trust old Abraham to show you the truth. What's going on? Who are you, Five? I'm confused. Five? There's only four of us. No, there's five of you. Are y'all there, boy? There were six of us before Lydia passed and Rodney's murder. Now there's four. Count with me. One. Two. Three, four, five. There's nobody at number five. What? They can't see me. Why can't they see you? Because I'm really here. Oh, there's a little... Did you see that shadow? It's walking back and forth. Have I lost my mind? How am I back in the street? Ah! Was I in hell? Some kind of purgatory? The hell with this. The hell are I, Where the hell is Howard's family? Where's Christopher? Where's Alistair? The circle. I need to find it and destroy it. What is... There's... There's... Okay. Well... Okay, well that seems like a great place to stop that, uh... If you don't see that whole clip of that room, it's because I descended into madness too much and I am ashamed of it. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Ah, uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.